Hey guys, what's up, man? Uh, this is Jeff here, uh, AKA the Silver Fox. No, um, just here to, to share um, a real quick point with you, uh, a quick video about um, uh, secret marketing, a uh, secret affiliate marketing hacks. Uh, my mentor, Zach Crawford, who's the creator of the course, uh, I've had people always asking me, you know, uh, um, why would you purchase the course from Zach? Um, there's other mentors out there. Uh, they just want to take your money. Of course, you, you're going to get that one. But I'm going to just tell you right now, his sincerity, for one, you listen to him five, 10 minutes, you pick up immediately how sincere he is. Uh, the fact that I've never seen a someone do what he does with his course, any improvements, any upgrades, anything like that he does for his course, actually, you don't have to pay for because you automatically bought the course. So six months down the road, two years down the road, 10 years down the road, if he's still making uh, um, improvements to the course, you get those improvements or those upgrades, you get them free. Um, another thing I like is that um, he corrects your work. Any work that you've done on your funnel, any work you've done in building your business, anything um, um, you have questions about, all you got to do is post it on the Facebook page and automatically he answers it. Now, it's a community, so there's others there that have been you know, doing it longer or, or, or more experienced than you are, and they help correct your work too. But Zach does it personally. And um, he's there for you. Uh, the way I even found him, and I'm doing this, and, and I'm gonna tell you, right now, I'm, I'm doing this post like right off, right off the rip, right off the top. No, I haven't rehearsed anything or anything like that. I have my glasses on because if I do this, guess what? You may see me clear, but I see you as a blur. <laughs> so let's do that so I can see a little bit. But um, I'm gonna just tell you right now, um, he lets you leverage all of his materials. I've never seen no one do that. He actually gives you the blog post. He actually gives you the uh, Facebook posts. Uh, he teaches you exactly how to do the Facebook ads. He teaches you how to do the YouTube ads. Step by step by step. All of it, this, this, this course is very robust. It's not something um, uh, that you're gonna do 10 minutes, 15, 20 minutes a day. It's a course. And I'm going to tell you, I started making the best improvement and learning the most out of the course when I took it just like in my mind. I looked I, I uh, when I first got started, I thought, oh, 30 days, man, I'm going to start promoting this. I'm going to be making some money. But as I started learning and as I started, uh, um, uh, he started teaching me about the difference between the way poor people think and rich people think. How poor people go in like it's a lottery and how rich people go in going. This is a course. This is something I have to master. And if I master it, it's going to yield the results I need. So as my mind started switching, I started saying, oh, OK, so let me look at this as a college course. Don't even look for no. Pro and it's going to be hard to kind of grasp at first, because I'm going to tell you something. We all come into the business at different levels. OK, um, I was totally, totally, totally new. OK, I knew nothing about this. I thought I did. But now that I'm learning from uh, uh, Zach Crawford, who is a seven uh, uh, figure earner, I, I, I knew nothing, really, because the thing is, is that I was looking at it kind of like a lottery. You get in 30, 30 days, you learn a little quick thing and you just go make money. And that's not what it's about. I looked on it as a college course. So I started putting in some serious study time. So now I got my YouTube page up. I'm starting to promote. I'm starting to put uh, videos together. I know how to put the thumbnails together. I know how to SEO, search engine optimization, meaning uh, uh, put my uh, uh, um, video there uh, or, the, or the put like this, reverse engineer my video so that I have plenty topics. So I know what to make my video look like. I know what to uh, do, do certain things. And, and I'm not saying I, I mastered it. No, not at all. But I do understand that it takes time to master anything, anything you do. I wouldn't go in college and in a year expect to be uh, hired as uh, whatever I'm studying for and making good money. But this, if I put in a year, a good year, and, and, and like I said, some of you are going to know more than me. Some of you are going to catch on faster than I am. I'm 58 years old, man. 
I don't learn as quick as I used to. I'm just keep it real with you. But what I what I know is I just keep going every day. Like Zach says, I'll be one percent better, one percent better, one percent better. Like, like I work out. I don't know if you could tell, but I work out, right? So I'm gonna tell you right now. In being successful, you know, as a personal trainer and, and working out, um, I tell my, I tell my people. I say, listen, it's September or it's October. Don't look for the results you want until until next May. April or May, and they go, ah, that's too long, man. I heard you could get it in seven days. That's people trying to get your money. Look for your results a year, nine months to a year down the road. And I started studying, like Zach told me to do, is master YouTube. So I started looking at the videos and look at what videos was getting, how many views and all these kind of things. And I noticed most of the people that were talking about making six figures had anywhere from 200 to 500 videos posted. And there were varying lengths. Um, uh, um, one guy I saw, he said, just put out a lot of videos between three and five minutes. But my mentor, Zach Crawford, said, no. What you want to do is put out more quality videos, Jeff, and thoroughly explain topics. To thor thoroughly address the points that people are looking for, like how to stay consistent. Make a video, how to stay consistent. But it should be at least 15 to 15 to 30 minutes long. Or longer if you if you got more research and more, you know, you know um, more information. But make sure that you're get, you're overloading the value. Make sure they have more than enough enough to uh, um, learn from the video and then become more consistent. See, so that's what now I, I start to do. I start to uh, really master it. Looking at the video, studying the videos. Oh, okay. So they have about these many videos. Or oh, oh, no, let me put it like this. I'm sorry. Um, they have a certain amount of videos, but they also have a certain amount of subscribers. Like um, some, most people that have a thousand or more subscribers are making anywhere from sixty to a thousand. Uh, um, I'm sorry, sixty to a hundred, sixty to a hundred thousand dollars a year. And my first major goal is: let me get to. 50 subscribers, then let me get to 100, then let me get to, but every day I'm posting, every day I'm posting. The key with, uh, uh, um, and you need to be consistent with whatever you're going to do. If you're going to do Facebook, you got to be consistent. If you're going to do uh, YouTube, you got to be consistent. But why, Zach? Because of the lessons I'm learning. Right now, I'm more educated than I've been in many, a lot of different areas and definitely in affiliate marketing. Why do I think it's the best thing for the best way to make a uh, hundred dollars a day or or a hundred thousand dollars a year? Because basically, um, you look. At, I looked at the plan that I was on, you know, working for Amazon, which I currently still do. I'm not going to sit in there. Oh, I'm making all this money and I ain't working for nobody. No, I'm still working for Amazon. But I work for Amazon because it keeps me moving. Zach, uh, Zach Crawford oftentimes says this, that he buys these courses all the time. And he said, because these courses keep me moving. And one of the young ladies on the vid, on, on the uh, on the on the live um, uh, on the uh, the Facebook lives to asked him, said, well, what do you mean it keeps you moving? And he said, well, if I spend. $5,000 on a course or $10,000 on a course. Oh, I'm going to make sure I get to it because I'm not going to waste that money. I don't like wasting money. And so I, when he said that, I thought about it and I said, wait, that's kind of what I was doing. Because what I did was I said, I'm going to get a job that I don't like, which is Amazon, working in the warehouse, never worked in the warehouse before. And I'm going to stay on that job until I make six figures in this business. And I mean that. So every time I'm on the, on the job and I'm going, yo, I don't like getting up doing it. Ah, I don't like doing that. Guess what? Then guess what? When I, when I come home, I got to burn. I, I get into the course, man. And I get on my videos and I make my videos and I do what I, I have to do. Why? Because it makes me it, see comfort. Um, we never move. We never move. And, and sorry if the, if the video is moving. Um, but like I said, it's very impromptu. But we never move. When we're comfortable. A lot of people don't ever move 
because they're too comfortable in where they are. I, I am a advocate for, for vision boards. So I tell like my clients when they're working out with me, I said, what you need to do is you need to get a vision board and put up on the vision board the way you want to look. Fitness athlete, whatever, uh, hang up pictures of um, bodybuilders and fitness athletes and runners and all these people in shape. And I tell people that and a lot of people don't listen to me and do it. And I tell them exactly why they didn't do it. And they look at me, they go, what do you mean why I didn't do it? I said, I'm going to tell you why you didn't do it. Because if you put a picture up of something that you want to be, if you don't do what's necessary to start progressing toward that, guess what you do? Guess what happens? You're uncomfortable. You're uncomfortable looking at that picture of that uh, woman with the nice physique and the flat stomach and you're up there, you sit there eating ice cream. You, you get <laughs> uncomfortable with that. It makes you very uncomfortable. Me, I dream build all the time. I have visions. Uh, I have pictures of bodybuilders. I got pictures of fitness athletes uh, up on up on my walls. So it keeps me going forward and forward and forward. And and I get people saying, "Yeah, Jeff, but you're older." Yeah, I'm older. So guess what? My fitness people is 55, 60, 65, 70. There's a woman that competes. Her name is um, Ernestine Shepherd. She's 83 years old. She still competes on stage. She teaches. Uh, 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 um, uh, she teaches a, a boot camp class and she teaches it in heels. 83 years old. So you don't get this at 59, at 58, if you're not working. My body is sore right now. <laughs> so I continue to work on my consistency. I continue on my personal development and I learn every single day I get 1% better. That's one thing that Zach, Zach stressed. He said, just don't worry about it, man. It's going to be times you don't feel like doing it. It's going to be times that you don't feel like uh, uh, um, being 1% better. Just stay focused. He said, because eventually as you build, you, you know, people need to know that uh, you're going to post at this time. YouTube needs to, to know that you're consistent in your postings and stuff like that. So I continue to do it. I continue to do it. Is my videos going to be world, you know, classic? No, I ain't looking for all that. I'm just going to get better every single time. Like today, making this impromptu video, this is me being better, <laughs> you know, because last week I did no videos because I just started building my videos. It started Monday, yesterday. So yesterday I posted one video. Today I'm posting this video and I'm putting the, the thumbnail together and everything like that. The name of the name of this video is uh, going to be. Um, I don't even know yet. <laughs> that's how. <laughs> that's how I am right now. Um, just thinking about different titles of what it is. Uh, my journey, yeah. My journey with affiliate. My, my journey to six figures. Yeah, something like that. My journey to six figures. That's what it's going to be called. I'm gonna write that down. My journey to six figures. <laughs> And and what keeps me on on track for uh, uh, to get to this uh, six figure uh, landmark? Because I'm gonna get there. When I get there, I'm gonna be looking at this video and laughing. But I'm saying to you, um, if anything, you know, if if you come up on this video and you hear it, Zach Crawford is the real deal, y'all. I'm gonna just tell you right now. If um, he lets you leverage. Um, even his students, some of his students that's making six figures. One girl was saying she, she was, she was is it, uh, uh, um, trying to make her way. Her name is Summer um, to make some money online. And she has spent thousands on courses and all this kind of stuff. And um, she got with Zach and here's another course she's going to have to spend money on. And she did. And 30 days, she made her first, uh, I think it was first $500 commission. And, um, you know, she was almost in tears because, you know, it's been so long and she had, didn't think it was real for her. <laughs> and some of you say, $500, that's nothing. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> $500. It's not even so much about the money. It's about the belief. And I'm going to tell you something. It still wasn't overnight for her. People say, well, yeah, she did in the first 30 days. No, she ain't really doing the first 30 days. All that preparation time, she was learning a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there. So 
there's a saying that goes, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And so that's what happened. Zach appeared because she was ready. And let me say this about uh, comfortability. We just over 15 minutes. So let me say this about comfortability. You will not move if you're comfortable. It's only an un incom uncomfortability that we, we move and we progress. There's a story, and I'm going to leave the story with you, and then I'm going to leave, um, and that'll be it. But the story goes like this. Uh, there was a guy, he was driving cross country, so he was, ran out of, was running out of gas, so he pulled into the gas station. And when he was pulling in, he heard the sound. Oh! He said, yo, wolves out here, whatever. So he pulls the car over. The guy comes out. You know, he's out living in his little shack. But he comes out to the, to, to the tank. And he starts pulling the guy up. He says, yo, you want me to wash your windshield? He said, yeah. So the guy went into to the bathroom. So he's the bathroom. And he heard, when he goes into the bathroom, he heard, oh! So then he's going, yo, what is that sound? Comes out. The guy finished washing his windshields. Filled the tank up with gas. And um, he's paying the guy, and he heard it again. Oh! So he looks at the guy, he says, Yo, what is that, like a wolf or something making this sound? And the guy says, No, 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 that's not a wolf. That's my dog. He's on the porch. And he looked over, he saw the dog on the porch. He says, So why is he making this sound? Oh! He says, Yo, why is he make making this sound? And the guy goes, Oh, He's laying on a nail. He said, so why don't he get up off the nail? He said, the nail is not hurting him enough to move. It's only hurting him enough to complain about. <laughs> wow, right? But it's true. Most people will complain about their job, but they never do anything to change it because they're not uncomfortable enough to move. They're only uncomfortable enough to complain about it. You know people that complain about their spouse, complain about their job, complain about their money, complain about all their car. But they're only uncomfortable enough. They're only uncomfortable enough to complain about it. And they're not uncomfortable enough to move. Amazon makes me too uncomfortable not to move. Zach spending five and $10,000 on courses makes him uncomfortable, so he keeps moving. The question is, what are you going to do to make yourself uncomf so uncomfortable in your present situation that you'll do whatever you got to do to change it? Because when you do that, that, that's one of the biggest keys to success. And then affiliate marketing, it does take time. But if you make yourself uncomfortable enough in your present situation, you keep dreaming big and you keep envisioning big. Six figures is more than possible. And I'll tell you something, you're being trained by a seven figure earner. So that makes seven figures based upon uh, um, how um, good a student you are. Seven figures is more than possible. So look, God bless you, man. This is Jeff, a.k.a. the Silver Fox <laughs> saying, look, good luck in all your endeavors. Um, if you want the link um, to the um, um you, uh, you can link into uh, uh, Zach Crawford's. Uh, I'm gonna put the link down at the bottom. If you want to link link in, in about and find out about this course, uh, secret affiliate marketing hacks, which is like I said, it's an incredible course. Um, if you want to contact me, Jeff Hansen, aka the Silver Fox, my Facebook page is down at, at the bottom. You can link in any questions you may have or anything. All you have to do, oh, you can leave a comment down in the comment box. I'll answer any question you have. If I don't have the answer personally, I will find the answer for you. I will just ask Zach about it, <laughs> okay? So so let me know. And look, good luck. And whatever you decide to do, whether you decide to go down and check it out or not, whatever you do, stay consistent. And remember, uncomfortability is what creates movement. Take care and God bless.